Hi everyone, my name is Shanna DeWitt and I am a business coach and strategist for women who want to launch or pivot their business. So I really love helping women take their experience and their expertise and package that into services that sell. I've been an entrepreneur for about six years. I've launched three online businesses. And before that, I was an art director at a Fortune 100. So I've got about 20 years of branding experience and I really love being able to incorporate that into my coaching and strategy work to help women like you create a business that gives them the freedom and flexibility that they are really looking for while also being able to financially support themselves doing work that they love that lights them up. <clears throat> so I've learned a lot about marketing in my many years of experience from working with multi-million dollar nonprofits and like I said, a Fortune 100 company and also entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, moms, women just like you. So what I've really learned is that every marketing strategy, no matter how robust, so even the ones that have Facebook ads and multiple revenue streams and multiple platforms all come down to having three basic principles. So there are three basic things that every single successful marketing strategy needs. And I'm going to share those with you today. And then we'll talk a little bit more about what each one of those is so that you know how to apply this to your business. So every successful marketing strategy needs focus, repeatability, and clarity. So we'll start with the first one, which is clarity. So every marketing strategy has to have clarity, it has to have focus, and it has to have repeatability. Clarity in your marketing strategy means that you know the number one problem that you solve for people, you know exactly who your client is, and you know the transformation that you get them because when you are very clear about who you are, what you do, who you do it for, and why it matters, people know what they should hire you for. And guess what? They actually hire you. So many times when I'm working with people, what I find is that when I look at their Instagram account, when I look at their Facebook, uh, you know, their Facebook feed, that it's not clear exactly what they do. So when you look at someone's, let's just say Instagram bio, because I feel like that's, that's an easy one, right? You only have a little bit of space to really sum up and grab someone's attention. If I were to tell you that I was a Pinterest strategist and I love coffee and I love golden doodles and I'm a mom, that's great. Like maybe you love golden doodles. You probably love coffee too, but how would you know if I was the right person for you? Okay. But if you are, let's say, um, you're a coach like me and you're thinking, wow, I've got this podcast and I'm putting a lot of work into it, but I'm not really sure what I need to do. Like, how do I use Pinterest? How do I, as a coach and a podcast host, how do I use Pinterest to be able to get more people to listen to my podcast? So if you just see a Pinterest strategist, you're like, hmm, maybe that's for me. But if you see a Pinterest strategist specifically for podcast hosts, you're like, wow, that's exactly what I was looking for. And you feel like you automatically have more trust. And she stands out as an expert because you think this person knows exactly what I'm looking for and they're an expert. So they're more likely to be able to understand my problem and offer me really good advice for, because no matter if you have millions of dollars or you've got five bucks in your pocket, whatever you're spending your money on, you want to feel really, really good that you're going to get the result that you want. So the first thing that every good marketing strategy needs is a really clear message. You've got to clearly be able to tell people who you are, what you do, who you do it for, and why the work that you do matters. Now, if you're listening to this and you're like, I think I'm clear, if you're questioning if you're clear, if you are not getting conversions, if you're not getting engagement, if you're not getting clients from your content, you're not clear enough. So that often means niching in, it means peeling back the layers, it means getting even more clear. And if you need some help with that, I have a four day challenge that breaks it down into bite-sized steps. So I will share the link in the very first comment below this, I'll share that link. It's called the Stand Out and Shine Online Challenge and it will be a perfect way for you to do that so that you master step one in having a very strong marketing strategy, which is getting really freaking clear. Okay. Step two in having a very good marketing strategy is focus. 
So many times as entrepreneurs, we will get on a platform or we maybe we try a live or maybe we try to do something in a Facebook group and we do it once and we feel like we don't get the result we want. So we think, oh, you know, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe it doesn't work. And I know that you know what I'm talking about. Drop me an emoji if you have done this before where you start thinking, maybe I'm not good at that. Um, Maybe, maybe I like don't look good. I don't want to go live. I don't want to post a picture and I don't want to do that. Or you put out that content and you get like one comment, but you're super excited because you think this content is so good. People are going to love this. And then nobody reacts to it. Maybe you spend an hour trying to create a post and you just know that this is going to be the thing that's going to get you your next client. And then nothing happens. Maybe you start to think, okay, well, well, the bigger the net that I cast, the more clients I'm going to get. So let me get on Facebook and Instagram and let me start putting some time into Pinterest. I'm going to do all of these things, right? But what happens is it still doesn't work because you only have so much energy and you're throwing some pebbles over here and you're throwing some pebbles over here. And so you're getting a very small ripple. What you want to do is, especially when you're starting out, you want to get a boulder and you want to chunk that whole entire boulder in so that you get a really big effect. So imagine the difference if you are putting a post on Instagram, then maybe the next week you do a live and then maybe the next week you could do a story and you kind of do the same thing on every single platform. So you're showing up a little bit over here, a little bit over here. You're popping in this group and leaving some value. You're popping in this group and leaving some value. Imagine the difference if you took all of that effort and you just put it in one place. When you put it in just one place, you're going to get so much more effect, right? That's what we want. So first you have that clarity in your message. It is freaking clear exactly who you help, the problem that you solve and why people should hire you. And you show up every single day in just one place, just one place. So in our minds, we think bigger net, more clients, we're gonna get more traction, we're gonna get in front of more people, but that's not actually how it works, especially when you consider that people usually only see one to 3% of your content if they even follow you. So imagine how little they see of you if they don't. Here's another marketing fact. People usually have to see, hear, you know, have a touch point with something at least five times before they decide to buy. And you know this is true because how many of you have bought something because you've seen a Facebook or Instagram ad? It wasn't the first time. It wasn't the second time. Maybe the third time you saw it, you thought, mm, I'll check it out. So you go to the website, you look at it, you read some reviews, something like that. It's rarely ever that you see an ad and you click on it and you buy it. But in our minds, we think, oh, I'm going to write this post. It's going to be amazing. People are going to see it. And they're going to, they're going to want to work with me. They're going to take me up on this free call. They're going to take me up on this freebie, this PDF, this workbook is whatever it is that you've got. And it just doesn't work that way. We don't operate that way and we can't expect our potential clients to work that way either. So the second thing that you need in a strategy that is going to work for you is focus, okay? Just pick one platform. It doesn't mean that you can't grow and have a podcast and a Facebook group and, and be on you know every social media outlet, but you've got to start with one. Pick a platform, show up every day, give value, engage with people, and you are going to get more clients, okay? Just do that one thing. And when you master it, when it's like, this is so easy, people know me, this is working out really well, then add something else. But when you are starting, especially, or if you are not getting clients, if you're having a hard time, do these three things. These three things, I'm telling you, they work with organizations, they work with small businesses, they work with entrepreneurs, and they will work for you. Have a very clear message, okay? Really clear who you are, what you do, who you do it for, and why it matters. And again, if you are not sure if you're clear, then I guarantee that you're not. If you're not getting clients, I guarantee that you're not and I will put a link in the first comment to a four day challenge that will really help you out with this. Please take this challenge. I promise you people that have taken this challenge have gotten a client within the first week. So trust me. All right. Having clarity, picking focus, pick your platform, show up all the time when it feels super easy. Like it's as much of your day as it is to brush your teeth, then add something else, but just start here. The third thing that every successful marketing strategy has is repeatability. Okay, so repeatability. We often think like, 
I'm going to make a webinar, I'm going to do this live series, I'm going to start a challenge or some, you know, some big thing and we think it's going to have a huge effect in our business and a lot of times it doesn't because all good strategies are built on this main foundation of clarity, focus, and repeatability because that is how you create the groundwork to be able to have an audience to launch a Facebook group, to launch a new course, to have a new offer. You've got to have the foundation for these things first. And that comes again from having clarity, really focusing in and repeatability. So we think that all these big things are where it happens. It seems fun. It seems exciting, but I'm telling you, okay, 20 years, hundreds of entrepreneurs, I'm telling you, it's the boring, repeatable stuff that is going to build your business, okay? It's the boring stuff that will get you traction. And here's the really great news about that. You don't have to have money to do that. You don't have to hire somebody to do Facebook ads for you. You don't have to have the most, you know, glamorous pictures or, you know, a thousand reels or any of this kind of stuff. It's the boring, repeatable stuff that is going to get you traction. And the reason why is it goes back to the things that we were saying before. It's repeating that clear message over and over again so that people know who you are, so that you're the person that is known for doing the thing that you want to get paid for. And it is because you're showing up consistently, again, with the focus, you're not sprinkling a little bit here and sprinkling a little bit here. You're showing up consistently in one place, and that is helping you be known for the thing that you want to be known for. So let's talk some boring strategies here. Boring strategies can look like um, anything that you're going to be consistently repeating. Let's just say that you are like, Instagram is my jam. I love it. That's where I want to show up. That's where I want to get clients. Go all in on Instagram. Make sure that you have that clear message and focus on Instagram and then just show up again and again and again, because here's the thing, your money shows up as consistently as you do. I'll say it again, just to let it sink in. Your money shows up as consistently as you do. So that could look like making sure that you post every day, making sure that you spend 30 minutes engaging with other people and building real relationships. And it could look like you consistently have a plan. So every time somebody DMs me or every time somebody follows me, I send them an audio message on DM. Those are the simple, repeatable things that are going to consistently get your results. When you show up consistently, your money shows it consistently too. When you are consistently showing up and giving value, people get to know who you are and it gets you more clients. So just to recap, the only three things that you really need to have a great marketing strategy are clarity in your message, focus and where you're showing up to get clients. And then the third thing is making sure that it is repeatable. It is the thing that you do over and over again, because guys, it's the boring stuff that is going to get you those clients because you're showing up consistently because you're being really focused about how you're getting clients that you are showing up and you have a very clear message about who you are, what you do, who you do it for and why it matters. Now, I know that especially with the holidays coming and you know, it's great that we have access to so much information and free trainings and things like this, right? But it can also be really overwhelming. And so sometimes, or a lot of times, the thing that makes it difficult is we have a hard time because we're in our business, really knowing what it is that we need to put our focus on. So we want that clarity, focus, and repeatability, but we may not be sure exactly what we need to focus on. So if you would like some outside perspective inside of your business so that you can nail this strategy and start to create a network, a community, start creating clients so that you can then add in some of these other things. You can have some more fun so you can try different things, knowing that you always know how to get clients so you can experiment and do different things and you can just scale. So most of the time people think, um, I have a big goal. I want 20 clients. I want, you know, 10 K months or whatever, but you got to get there. These are the things that are going to get you there. You have to create a base and then you scale. That's how that, that's how that actually works. So don't get sidetracked in comparison and fear of showing up and not being confident and, you know, just looking about what, what other people are doing. Focus on these small things because this is what really works. Okay. This is what works. And it's not a 
It's not me trying to make you fit into a system, me trying to say like, this is the blueprint. This can be adapted to every single business. What is your message? Who are the people that really need you and how do you solve their problem? Where do you wanna show up and get clients? Not where I'm telling you to show up, but where do you wanna show up? What really, really speaks well to where your clients are? Are they hanging out on Instagram? Are they hanging out on Facebook? Go where they are and play to your strengths, whether that's just posting every day, whether it is engaging with people, maybe you love doing lives, do that, whatever it is. And then the last part is repeatability. So you just keep doing it over and over again. And if you want some help kind of diving into this more, coming up with more, um, you know, a bigger strategy, or if you just need that outside perspective to really tell you, like, this is the thing you need to focus on. If you need some help figuring out what is the problem I want to solve and who are my ideal clients, I would love to help you. So as I said in the beginning, I'm a business coach and strategist for women that want to pivot or launch their business. And I love helping people create services that sell based on their expertise and experience. And I never do single sessions, but I really wanted to do something fun and different for Black Friday. And so I'm offering a $99 60 minute session with me where we will nail down your simple, focused, repeatable strategy so that you can start getting clients again and again and again. So I know that it would be really nice to end this year strong and to know that, hey, I'm doing this, I'm showing up, I'm being consistent, I'm focused, I have a clear message. And I know that I'm going to see the results from this and start 2021 off strong because I think we're all looking forward to having a very different, very wonderful 2021. So again, my name is Shannon DeWitt. And if you would like to grab that 60 minute intensive with me for just $99, you can find the link inside of this post.